Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use betamethasone. If you want to learn more on skin related problems or drugs, then check out the playlist I made in the description. For those of you who are meeting for the first time, I will quickly introduce myself. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe medically educated people make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now let's get started. The generic name of this medication is beta metazone, but it's known under several brand names like Bednilin, Deproline, Deprozone, and Celestone. And it's available as cream, ointment, and an injection. Now then, how do you use it? If you want to use the cream or the ointment, you need to apply it on your skin. But it's important that you don't do so too thick, because this may increase the side effects you're experiencing. And on the other side, don't apply it too thin either, because this can decrease the effectivity of the drug. Hard, I know. So always ask your prescribing doctor exactly how much you should apply, or ask your pharmacist. It's also important that you wash your hands very carefully after you apply it on your skin. Make sure that it does not come in contact with your eyes. And for the first hour, make sure that the part of your skin where you apply the drug will not come in contact with water. Now for the duration of use, this depends on the indication and also the severity of the indication. But usually it's between two and three weeks. Now then, when should you use it? Usually, betamethasone is prescribed to treat skin-related problems like eczema, psoriasis, severe itching, and other severe skin-related diseases. And this brings us to what dosage should you use? And as I already told you, it's best to ask your prescribing doctor or pharmacist as they can exactly show you how much you should apply. However, I can also give you some general guidelines, but make sure always to use the prescribed amount and dosage. Usually, the fingertip unit method is used. One fingertip unit is usually one to two grams of ointment or cream. And here in the table, you can check how many fingertips you need per body part. Now, betamethasone is an effective drug, but it can have some side effects. I will discuss the most common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, always ask your doctor or your pharmacist or just check the leaflet. When using cream or ointment, about 1 to 10% of all patients may experience a local skin reaction. So, where you apply the cream or the ointment, you will experience itching, irritation, burning or pain. Now, for safety, it's safe to use betamethasone with almost any type of food. You can combine it with alcohol, in moderation of course, and you can drive safely while using betamethasone. However, it can have some interactions with the other drugs you might be taking. So, please ask your doctor if betamethasone is safe for you. Furthermore, if you're using this drug for a longer time, then it can have some additional risks when you quit it suddenly or when exposed to very stressful situations. So I discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now, if you want to use this drug when you're pregnant or breastfeeding, please don't do so. It can be dangerous for you as well as your baby. So always contact your doctor if you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding and let him know. Now, as always, I hope you learned something because that's the general point of this video. However, if you do have any questions left, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer all of them. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing so you never miss an awesome medical video again. It will also help me to reach my new milestone, 5,000 subscribers, and I will be eternally grateful. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.